The Cask of Amontillado, by Edgar Allan Poe is a captivating tale that delves into the depths of human nature, exploring themes of revenge, deception, and the dark recesses of the human psyche. Through the intricate plotting and masterful use of suspense, Poe constructs a chilling narrative that leaves a lasting impression on the reader. At the heart of the story is the twisted relationship between the narrator, Montresor, and his unsuspecting victim, Fortunato. Montresor harbors a deep-seated grudge against Fortunato, though the exact nature of this grievance is never explicitly revealed. Instead, Poe invites readers to speculate on the motivations behind Montresor's sinister intentions, adding to the story's aura of mystery and intrigue. Central to Montresor's plan for revenge is his cunning manipulation of Fortunato's ego and weakness for fine wine. By appealing to Fortunato's vanity as a connoisseur of wine, Montresor lures him into the dark depths of his family's catacombs under the pretense of sampling a rare cask of Amontillado. This setting serves as a metaphorical descent into madness, as Fortunato unwittingly walks into his own doom. Throughout the narrative, Poe employs a rich array of literary devices to heighten the story's tension and atmosphere. The use of dramatic irony, for example, is particularly effective in creating a sense of foreboding, as readers are privy to Montresor's sinister intentions while Fortunato remains blissfully ignorant. This sense of dramatic irony reaches its climax as Montresor seals Fortunato within the catacombs, leaving him to perish in the darkness. Poe also utilizes symbolism to enrich the story's thematic depth. The motif of the carnival, with its masks and revelry, serves as a stark contrast to the hidden motives and deceit that lurk beneath the surface. Likewise, the image of the cask of Amontillado represents not only Fortunato's downfall but also the intoxicating allure of vengeance that consumes Montresor's soul. One of the most haunting aspects of The Cask of Amontillado is its exploration of the psychological toll of revenge. As Montresor carries out his meticulously planned scheme, he descends further into madness, haunted by the specter of his own guilt. This descent into darkness serves as a cautionary tale, reminding readers of the destructive power of unchecked resentment and the corrosive effects of vengeance on the human spirit. In the end, the cask of Amontillado leaves readers with a lingering sense of unease, challenging them to confront the darker aspects of human nature that lie dormant within us all. Through its masterful storytelling and evocative imagery, Edgar Allan Poe's tale of revenge and retribution continues to captivate audiences and compel reflection on the complexities of the human condition. As readers navigate the labyrinthine twists and turns of Montresor's mind, they are confronted with unsettling questions about the nature of justice, morality, and the true cost of revenge. In this way, the cask of Amontillado transcends its status as a mere Gothic tale, leaving an indelible mark on the literary landscape and inviting readers to confront the darkness that resides within us all.